Rambam Hilchos Tefillin, Parak Ravi. Alav Hechan Manichin Tefillin Shal Rosh. Where do you wear the head tefillin? Manichin Osan Al Hakad Akod Kod. He placed them on the top of the head. Shusof Hasear, which is the end of the hair. Shekanegad upon him. It's on the side of the face, not the end of the hair, on the back. And that's the place where the uh, head of a uh, baby <coughs> is softer, it, uh, the fontanelle. And you have to <coughs> um, make sure that there are in the middle, Kadeshi Yihyu bin Hai Naim, in order so that they are between the eyes. Viyihya Kesha Begova Oref, and the knot in the back should be on the on the height of the uh, back of the neck. Shusof Hagul Golas, which is the end of the skull. Okay? Kesef Mishnah, Halacha Dalit. Where do you place the tefillin? Where does this come from? That between your eyes, this refers to the top of the skull. Where is this? So the the house of Rabbi says, It's the place where the, the head of the tinok is soft. Pirish Make. Make, um, I guess, Ruface actually means like uh, where it's, so to speak, blemished. Where it has, where it has that blemish. Uh, there's this, so to speak, soft opening there in the skull that didn't, doesn't close yet until later. And this that it says you have to have intention uh, that it should be in the middle, and that the knot should be in the height at the height of the back of the neck, and so forth. Sham Daflamidhe. So that's also over there in Daflamidhe. Amar Rav Yaakov, Amar Rav Yehuda. Rav Yaakov says in the name of Rav Yehuda, Kesher Shel Tefillin, Sarich Shiyehe Lamaila. That the knot of the tefillin needs to be above vodjam, and further there, that the knot needs to be opposite the face. That is to say, Rashi says above at the at the and and at the height of the head, meaning and not below by the neck. Klape uh, panim by the by the face memul oref meaning opposite uh, the the um, back of the neck below betzidi harosh that's memul oref by by the back of the neck and not in the sides of the head. Minzen yilmod shetzarich lekavino sa beemza and from and from this we also learn that you have to um, have intention that it should be in the middle. The kivin shakeshir hu memul oref that since this is exactly where the kesher should be. In the back of the neck, in the middle, um, and, and not on the sides, um, opposite the face. So automatically, the the uh, actual kitzitza of the tefillin, the bias, is between the eyes. And regardless of this, you need to do that. The other reason that we has to be between the eyes, it says that the totafos have to be between your eyes. But you could even learn it from the fact that uh, the kesher, which is opposite the ketitza, is uh, is exactly in the middle over there. I'm not sure where you would learn that it's opposite the ketitza. You know where the kesher is. How do you know... Maybe the ketitza is on the side. How do you know the ketitza? The ketitza has to be exactly opposite the kesher. 
At any rate, and this that it says, okay, so that's the next, next halacha. So let's do the next halacha. Halacha bez. Vishel yad kosher osa al smolo. The hand villain, you have to tie them on the left arm, ala kibores, and on a place, the place called the kibores. Wa basar hatufach hatufach. This is the, the, the flesh that is, that, uh, that, uh, it goes up. That puffs out should be mirka be mir pak that's on the uh, upper arm should be in perka kasef, or be in perka zroa. That's in between the uh, part of the body that's the the shoulder and the part of the body that's the the um, arm. Shnimsa keshu medabik mir mir mar pekul it's a love. So it's found then that if you when when you uh, close your armpit uh, close to your 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 ribs, tia tefila connected libo. So the 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 tefila of the arm is, is right by your heart. So you, it's found then that you'll fulfill the verse that these things should be upon your heart, literally on your, upon your heart. So back in the case of Mishnah, and what he says, and this that he says that the hand fill and you have to tie it on your on your left arm. Sham daf lamidvav lamidzayin. This is also there in Menachos. Yadcha zu small that yadcha is your hand. It should be totafos on on your hand means the small the the left hand the small. And we learn it from what it says. That my hand uh, founded the earth, and my right hand spe- stretched forth the heaven. So the fact that it says Yad refers to the left hand. If you wanted to say right, it would have said you mean. Rabbi Nelson Yalif Lamikrach Rina and Rabbi Nelson learns it from a different pasuk. Uh, I guess Yad Yedecha Yad Kehei or something like that. He does because he doesn't bring that limud, even though the Alter Rebbe does bring that in Shulchan Aruch. I know. Amash because of Alki Bordes and this that he says that it has to be on the muscle. Gamzeh Sham Daf Lamid Zayin Al Yadeh Chazuki Bordes that on your hand also there in the Gemara in Menachos that on your hand means the Kibores. Because what Tosfos Varosh, what is, and the, so the Tosfos and the Rosh right explain this word Kibores Lashon Kibutz. Basar. Kiboris is, is a language of gathering of the flesh, meaning because that's where the bump is, that's where the muscle is on the arm. It gathers together to be that, that uh, bump, that muscle on your arm. Kamukibura de Ehini, which is, I guess, also a language of, of, uh, of, of uh, um, a kibbutz, gathering together. Because of what Tosfos the Harosh Zal, and so Tosfos and Rosh write, the Hainu Gova Habasa Shibzroa, that is the the height of the flesh that's on the arm, Shu Bain Hakasefa Kuvdu, that's between the shoulder and the, the Kuvdu, which I guess is the Zroa. Vechain Das Rabbeinu, and that's also the opinion of the Rambam, Vechain Hiskimu Kola Poskim, and this is the agreement of all the Poskim, Vechain Hamin Hakbashur Pashur, and that's the simple custom as well. <laughs> to place it on there. Gimel. Malacha Gimel. Hamaniach tefillah shel yad. Someone puts on the hand fillin al pas yado upon the palm of your hand. If a person does such a thing. Or shel rosh al mitzcho or place <coughs> the head fillin upon his forehead. So this is the way of the tzedukim. That's how they would do it. They would interpret the Torah only literally uh, without the, the Kabbalah from Moshe Messinai um, or the Torah Shabbat Peh. If somebody makes their tefillin round like a nut, like a walnut. This is, there's no mitzvah in this at all. Iter maniach tefillin be a mino, a 
left-handed person will put their tefillin on their right hand, shoes small shalom, which is their left hand. And if uh, you have an ambidextrous person who can use both arms equally, they'll put, also put it on their left hand, shoes small, call Adam, which is the left hand of, of everybody. Um, they also have, their left is, is, everybody, is the real left, not just the, the lefty's left. Uh, and the place where you tie fill in and the place where you uh, put them on the head and so forth, or on the arm and on the head, the uh, this is from Piashmua. Meaning, meaning it's like a Kabbalah, it's like it's a Kabbalah of Valpe. Okay, Gimel, in the Kesef Mishnah. Somebody who puts on the hand tefillin. Mishnah Perek Hakores Amigila Omed Daf Lamet Kaf Dal Ramad Beis. Who said tefillah so agula? So it says somebody who makes their. So this is in, in Megillah. This is in Gemara Megillah about where to put the tefillin. And it says there. If you place, you make your tefillin round, so can of in with mitzvah. It's a danger, and and there's no mitzvah. Nos nal mitzvah or al pasiado. If you place it on your forehead, or on the palm of your arm, of your hand, hareze derechat stokim. So that's the way of the stokim. Gemara, we gemara lema tanina leha de tanor abanan. It says, let us say that we learn this that the the rabbis taught us. Tefillin merubos halach lamoshim misinai. That tefillin being square is halach lamoshim misinai. Amarav papa the avida ki amguza. It's it's uh, it's somebody who makes it like like an egos, like a um, uh, somebody he ma- he makes it like a. Uh, Somebody makes it like a walnut. And the Mishnah Rashi says that it's a danger that uh, it should not enter a person's head. I guess if if it's like an egos, a small round thing, I guess it's more of a danger than if it's square. If it's square, it sits on the head properly. But if it's round, it could be like uh, a projectile or something. Nasnal mitzcho shel rosh v'shel yad al pasiado. So if you place it on your forehead or on the palm of your hand, harizu derech hatzdokim shmanichin. And this is the way of the Tzokim, why Shemanichin Midrash Chachamim, that they abandoned what the sages learned, V'holchim Acharam Hamashma, and they go after the simple implication of, 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 the, of the verses. V'rabbeinu lo chashash lichtov a sakana, and the, and the Rambam here does not write that it's a sakana, that it's a danger, when, if you make it round. Because the halacha, that doesn't make a distinct a difference for us. Since it's not a mitzvah, uh, even if there wasn't any danger, we wouldn't do it anyway. The left-handed person uh, puts it on his left arm, 
which is everybody else is right. Besof Perek HaKometz. This is in the end of HaKometz, Menachos Lama Zayin. Tanu Rabbanan, our sages learned. Itar Maniach Tfilin Biyamino. The left-handed person will wear tefillin on his right. Shu smallo, which is his his small. That's his left. Hatanya. Um, but didn't we learn maniach besmolo that you should put it on your left arm? Shu small kol adam, which is the left hand of everybody. Amar Abayis, where Abayis says kitanya hahi bishol That that statement, uh, that price uh, is. Referring to somebody who uh, is ambidextrous, who can use both arms equally, and that's what that statement's about. Okay. Halacha dalid, tefillah shel rosh, ina ma'akeves shel yad, v'shel yad, ina ma'akeves shel rosh. So the head fillin does not stop you from wearing just the hand fill-in. And the hand fill-in does not stop you from wearing just the head fill-in if you only have one of them, if you have, if you, each one is, is it, has a mitzvah on its own to wear. Because there are two mitzvahs. Zula atma v'zula atma. This one on its own, and this one on its own. The Kate said, Mevarchin al shel rosh. How do you make the blessing on the head fill in Mivarech Hashir Kedishon of Mitzvah Sa'av? You say that um, you sanctified us with your mitzvahs, with Sivan all mitzvahs to fill in, and commanded us about the mitzvah of Tfilin. And on the hand fill in, you make the blessing that you commanded us, you, you sanctified us with your mitzvahs and commanded us. To place the tefillin. So it's interesting. We actually make the bracha on the hand tefillin first. Yet the Rambam here brings it um, second. After the head tefillin. At any rate. In the case of Mishnah. Halacha dalit tefillah shal rosh shachulu. Mishnah perek hat cheles. Menachos lam So this is. Continues. If you look in the case of Mishnah. All the halachos that he brings. Are, are uh, start from the beginning of the Sigyan Menachos and continue in, in uh, daf by daf uh, to the, the later Halachos as the Gemara continues the, the Halachos of, of, of Tefillin. So now we've already gotten to the end of um, Hakomets and starting Hatcheles, uh, the Halachos uh, that we find in Hatcheles. Tefillah Shorosh. Mishnah Perekat Cheles, Daf Lam Ches. Begemara Mishnah Dalid Amar Rav Chista. Rav Chista said Lo Shana Ela Sheish Lo. That's only if you have it. Aval Ein Lo Ma'akevus. But if you don't have it, so that that stops you. So this implies that it doesn't. The head and hand feeling don't stop each other. That is only if you have them. But if you don't have it, it is Ma'akev. That's the lashon of the Gemara. That's a, that's the statement of Rav Chizda. Amrule, so they said to him, Amarta. So you said, Amaluhu lo elaman delis leitre mitzvos. So they said, um, so they said, no, it's not. It's only when elaman delis leitre mitzvos if a person. Does not have two mitzvahs. Chad mitzvah nami lo le'evad. So they shouldn't do one mitzvah. So so they they argued him on on Rav Chista on this statement, saying that that uh, this, this doesn't make sense. It, these are two mitzvahs. Why stop a person from doing one other mitzvahs? And there's there's a whole chakira um, on this on this uh, statement of Rav Chista. Maybe it applies this way or that way. V'davar pasher the naktin and hachi. The ben yeshlo ben inlo, in a and this is simple. That this is how we we hold, that whether you have it or you don't have it, it doesn't stop you from wearing one of them. And even though in the Rambam's parish on the Mishnah there, it, right, it's it's written. The Rambam writes that it is it is me'akev 
like Rav Chista. Tau Sofer, who this is a mistake in, in uh, writing it down. And if you look in the original Arabic, it's not there. Because the Mishnah Torah is the only Sefer from the Rambam that was written in actual Hebrew. And the Pirusha Mishnah was written in Arabic. And translated. And if you look in the original Arabic of the Rambam, you will not find that it says that it's Ma'akev. And it, that fits together with um, how he writes it here in uh, Mishnah Torah. And how do you make the bracha? The Sof Peraka comments, Tafla Mervav, Amar Rabba Barbar, Amar Rabba Barchia, Rabba Barchia says, Barav Huna, the son of Rav Huna, Amar Rav Chista, in the name of Rav Chista, Sach Bain Tfila Latfila, if you speak, interrupt with an, if you speak and say something in between, putting on the, the two Tfilas, the Tfila Shal Yadin Rosh, Chozer Mervarich, you make another bracha. Sach, you, or you go back and, and you and you and you bless again. Doesn't say which blessing. Well, certainly the Lamaisa, we're gonna make the bracha on the head tefillin. But it could imply that you're gonna go back and, and make the first bracha too. It says go back and, and make the bracha. However you want to be a mefarish. Sach, ein lo sach lo. If you make, if you talk, you make the bracha, and you didn't talk, you didn't make the bracha. You don't make the bracha. Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Chia says, "Mishmei de Rabbi Yochanan in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, an filah shel yad lehaniach tefillin, va'al shol rosh al mitzvah tefillin." That you're gonna make two brachas anyway, according to Rabbi Yochanan. That the hand tefillin you, you say one bracha laniach tefillin, and the head tefillin you say al mitzvah tefillin. So Abayi and Rava both say that if you don't talk, you're going to only make one bracha. And if you do talk, you'll make the second one. And Rashi explains what does it mean. You don't talk. You make one blessing. On the head, on the hand filling. And, but if you do talk, you make one blessing on the hand fillin, and you go and you uh, and make another bracha on the head fillin, al mitzvahs. So according to Rashi, you'd have to go back and make the first bracha too. So you make you know, in, in that case you'll make two. Or, or you say, no, according to Rashi, you've already made one bracha on the hand, and you, you're going to go ahead and make another bracha on the, on the, on the head fill, and however you want to read Rashi there. So then you see that he's making two blessings. And that's also the opinion of the Rif, and that's the opinion of the Rambam as well. The Kesef Mishnah concludes, V'yish Cholkim, and there's those that argue on this. Mefarshim lo sach mevarech achas al shel rosh, and say that if you do not talk, you make one bracha on the head tefillin, al mitzvah tefillin. Just like the Rambam has it here, that first he brings al mitzvah tefillin before the before the shaliyad. Sach mevarech shtaim al shel rosh, and if you do talk, you're gonna make two brachas on the rosh on the shel rosh. Shetzarich lachz or levarich laniach. You have to make another bracha, lahanich tefillin, v'nagu k'divri rabbeinu, and that's not the minhag, the, rather the minhag is, is like the Rambam, uh, the, the way the, the Kesem Mishnah learns the Rambam's opinion, that he holds like, like Rashi in the Rif, that we make one bracha on the hand tefillin. And then if you talk, you make a second bracha on the head tefillin. Um, I'm not sure where the Kesef Mishnah learns, but that's the opinion of the Rambam. That is, when is that? Oh, I guess maybe he learns it in the next halacha. When is that? When do you make these two brachos? When you wear only one of them. Aval im but if you wear both of them, 
you make one bracha, which is laniach tefillin, v'kosher shel yad, v'achakach maniach shel rosh, and you make and you tie the hand tefillin. This, this is uh, the pashtus on the Rambam. V'achakach maniach shel rosh, and afterwards you you put on the head tefillin. K'shu cholitz, and when you take them off, cholitz shel rosh, you take off the head tefillin. V'achakach cholitz shel yad, and only afterwards do you take off the hand tefillin. Okay, uh, so in the case of Mishnah, halacha hey. When you tie the hand fill in Shamtana, but there we learned in Hakomate stuff Lamed Vav. That when you put it on, you put on the hand fill in. And afterwards, the head fill in. And when you take it off, you take off the head fill in and only afterwards the hand fill in makes sense to say that when you are putting it on the the the, the yad comes first the hand comes first now first it says you tie them as a sign upon your hand and only afterwards as a tuta, as a sign between your eyes but when you take them off Manal, and how do we know? Where, 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 do, where do we learn what the order should be? Amar Rava Bar Hamnuna. So Rava Bar Hamnuna says, Asavrali, the Svara is to me, Vayulitotafos Beni Necha. That they should be to, a, a, a signs between your eyes. Calls Mansha Beni Necha. So Totafos is plural. And, and, and at, all, at, at all times when they are between your eyes, time you should have two. Meaning to say that when you put on the head fillin, you should already have the hand fillin on, and when you take it off, you shouldn't take off the hand fillin first, because then you won't have two between your eyes. So as all, at all times when you have between your eyes, you, should, you must have two on. That's how Rava Bar Hamnuna uh, learns it out.